Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video to share with you guys. It's my haul from Shop Disney. Um, I made an order on the UK website because um, the UK website, if you spend a certain amount of money, it's free shipping to Australia and New Zealand. And as you may know, I live in Australia, so it was just it just made more sense for me to make an order on the UK website. Also, the UK website had more stuff in stock at the time that I was buying. Now, if you've shopped on Shop Disney before, you know that they um, come in and out of stock all the time. So when you're shopping, it might be better for you to shop on the American website or the UK website, or I don't know, it depends where you are and what you're looking for from the site. But uh, yeah, UK today. Now I ordered this stuff maybe like less than three weeks ago. So it actually arrived pretty quickly. You might be like, less than three weeks? That's kind of a while. But you know, to get from the UK to Australia, this was like decent time in my opinion. We've got this packaging, packaging, packaging. And I've got the hugest box because I made the hugest order. And actually when it arrived, they'd already like opened it. Like the postage people like must have checked it. And so my box was closed, but it wasn't actually like taped shut. And they just kind of wrapped it up in this like, plastic glad wrap to like re-close it after they'd like checked my parcel for whatever reason. Anyway, um, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to put this on the ground because it's literally a massive box. I can't like hold it up, but I'll take things out of it and show you as we go. So I got some stuff, to, um, plushies and they came in this little baggie because that's how they keep them neat in the post. Um, and so free was order because I like purchased on a certain day for some reason. I got a free Grogu plush. This is the small size of the child. Grogu from The Mandalorian. Now, as you might know, I am a big Star Wars fan, so I was happy to see him um, as like a free thing. I wouldn't have purchased him if he was like to purchase, to be honest, just because I don't think he's that cute. Like he's kind of an ugly plush in my opinion. Sorry if you really like him. I really like Grogu the character in Star Wars and I really like like how he looks actually. Like, well, it doesn't have a picture here, it just has a picture of The Mandalorian. But um, I do think that he looks cute in the actual show. I just think the plush versions of him look really like odd, but kind of in a fun way. So I don't actually hate him. I just wouldn't have purchased him. But you know, he was free. So I added him to cart because he was a free thing. He's in this little um, outfit like he wears on the show. It's got a little like fuzzy fleece um, neck and like sleeves. And then this is kind of like a faux suede material. And it has a little like detail like that at the back. Now underneath this, um, you could probably take it all off. It's like kind of sewn to his neck here, but underneath it's not sewn to him. He's wearing little like brown undies and it's kind of weird to see him like naked underneath. Um, yeah, those are his feet. They're like kind of scary. Like look how scary his hands look as plush form. Um, but yeah, he's cute. Um, and yeah, he was free with purchase. So ta-da, there he is. Now the plush that I purchased was this one. I've been seeing loads of people with new emos. New emo? New emos? These guys. Um, and so, of course, I am a big Ariel fan, as you can probably tell by my life. Um, so I got the Ariel new emo. Now, she looks really cute. I will do a, a entire video on most of the things I get today. So I won't go into, like, incredible detail. This is more just, like, a haul. But I'll do, like, reviews on each of the things I get eventually. Um, but, yes, this is the Ariel one. And it was, like, buy to get one free on new emo things. So I did get her two outfits so that, like, one of the outfits would be free in the end. So um, her little tail does come off. Um, and I think it's really cute how her bra is sewn on, um, because even if you take the tail off, she's still wearing a little bra and like green underwear underneath if you want to like change her into different clothes. So the different clothes that I chose for Ariel on the site, um, came like this. They also came in this little, um, plastic bag. The first thing was this little Star Wars, um, spirit jersey. Now the spirit jersey, if you're wondering that I'm currently wearing, this one I purchased last year from the Shop Disney website, and this is the Ariel's Coral Grotto grotto coral aerial it's the aerial themed spirit jersey color so it's just a colorway that's like coral that's supposed to represent aerial anyway this is a star wars spirit jersey and it's really cute because as you know i love star wars and i really liked the front of it how it's got like the little um logo here that's like half half i think that's really cute and um yeah it's a little spirit jersey for my little aerial to wear i felt like it would my lights just flickered um i think it would look cute with her um outfit like with her hair color because you won't be able to see it it'll kind of look like a dress on her so um like i think it'll go well with the blue of her eyes and the red of her hair i think it'll look really cute and then the other outfit i got for her is like definitely my favorite outfit i got for her and it's this little outfit it kind of reminds me of may from um totoro like the way it's like i don't know it's just so cute and i think she's gonna look so cute wearing it Imagine her wearing it. It's just the cutest little outfit. So yeah, this is like a little corduroy overalls and it comes with some little like faux suede boots. And then um, this is like a faux like knit 
um, sweater. So yeah, really cute. And that's my little new emo setup now. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. Um, the next thing I got to show you guys is um, another animator doll. So as you may know, I'm obsessed with my animator edition Ariel here. You can see her. I love her. She's on the top shelf because she's kind of larger. So she doesn't fit in these like square shelves. Um, Cause she's tall. I think these shelves are 13 inches tall and she's taller than 13 inches. But smaller than 13 inches is her mini size. So this is Animator Edition, um, the Animator's Collection Ariel in the mini size. And she comes in this little um, baggie like this. This actual little plastic box is really detailed. Like it has these little shells all over the handle and like bubbles. And these are like covered in like um, silver, no silver, like turquoise sparkles, which is really cute. Um, I love the artwork on the tag. This is like the updated artwork. Um, the artwork on my one up there is like a different style. Um, it's not colored in the way this one is. But what I really liked about her is she still has that old style of face. So the new Ariel animator dolls have a new face and I don't know, I just don't like it as much as the original one because that's the one that came out first and like that's when I discovered her. So I don't know, it's just like, it's the one I'm like more feeling towards. And so this mini version, she still comes with her old face. And so I love that she has the same face as like my full size one because it's like, I don't know, it's just the face I prefer. I think she looks really cute. Um, I think she looks very much like Ariel. Like it really, I love the animator's collection because I feel like it does a really good job of capturing Ariel's character. Um, she comes with a bunch of accessories, really cute, you can see. And I love that she also comes with her Kiss the Girl outfit um, with like glitter details, it looks really cute. Um, oh, Thurs has brought me a present. Thank you. I took a bite. What do you call these? Corn ribs. Thurs are made corn ribs. We're both vegetarians, so it's like always fun to Share funky food. Okay, well, I'm making a video, but I'll eat them as soon as I finish the video. They look really good. Okay, you want to eat them now? <laughs> okay. There's more Wait, in the oven. Shut the door if you want to. Um, oh, oh, you can sit and watch me do this. Um, okay, the next thing I have to show you guys is another Ariel doll. Surprise! Who saw that coming? Oh my goodness, crazy business. This one is Wedding Edition Ariel. Um, she is in the new updated packaging, Disney's recently updated their packaging to be more um, eco-friendly. So she no longer comes in the plastic box like you see the 2020 edition. Um, now the 2021 comes in like a cardboard box that's more um, sustainable. I'm just looking for my scissors so that I can open her up with you guys. I'll just use these little lash scissors. Okay, I'm really excited for her because um, I don't have any, oh, it's not even a plastic sticker. It's like a paper sticker. Oh, they're so good for the environment. Good move, Disney. I like that they're leaning towards more cardboard packaging. I just think it's more sustainable. And it looks cuter too, in my opinion. So we've got Ariel on the front, and then the same design as the 2020 edition on the back. It just looks like that. Um, it's got a little picture of her on the side, if you can see that. I'm trying to like show it up to the camera. It says Disney princesses on the top, and then the bottom it says Ariel um, classic doll. And so I was really surprised that they had the wedding edition of Ariel on the website. I don't know if they even sell any wedding editions of any of the other Disney princesses, but for some reason they have, you know, Ariel's wedding edition. So I was happy to see it. This is what she looks like. So she's kind of in that like boat scene. Um, it's really beautiful on the inside. It just says Disney princesses. I think this is generic to all the Disney princesses. That doesn't look like an Ariel specific castle detail in the background. Um, but this looks kind of like when she's like saying goodbye to everyone on the ship in the end scene. She, has a hairbrush. she does come with a hairbrush. I'll show you the hairbrush. Um, it's not a molded hairbrush that's specific to Ariel. It's just like all the Disney princesses get the same hairbrush and um, Ariel's one in the wedding set is white because she's wearing white. Um, I'll do a little close up, but I will do a full like detailed video on this doll specifically coming up, like showing you guys all the details. But yeah, she looks really good. Only thing I'm going to say is like this crown is like tilted a little back, but I will take her out of the packaging anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh my gosh, she's got like silver eyeshadow. That's like a really fun little detail. Oh, she's stunning. I'll probably keep her in the outfit. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like, it was like surprising to me that I was able to find the wedding edition Ariel on the Disney website because they didn't have any other Disney princesses. And as you know, I'm an Ariel lover. So I felt really lucky that um, my favorite Disney princess was the one available um, wedding edition because I do love her wedding outfit. I think it's so classic. And it's also like, it's classic, but it also represents the era that she was like created because obviously Ariel came out in the 80s. You know, it has those poofy sleeves that really say like 80s without being like too much like it's still a classic dress anyway okay now we're getting into like the crazy purchases now these are like so exciting to me because um if you've seen these on ebay they go for an arm and a leg but for some reason this is back in stock on the disney side i'm not sure if it's currently available at the time that i'm posting this video but two or three weeks ago when i made this order it was available this is the 30th um year's anniversary little mermaid sisters collection set it is 
nuts. It literally has all the sisters lined up. They look stunning. I really like how accurate this set is to how the sisters look in the film. I believe there are only two different face sculpts, yet they use different like um, painting techniques and like use different facial expressions to make each of the sisters look unique and like their unique personalities are in the actual movie. I also like that they were true to the sisters colorways. So here is a picture of all the sisters as they appear in um, the original Ariel movie on the back. And as you can see, all of the colorways are like really well represented in the um, actual dolls. Like they Sorry, my camera cut out because I ran out of space on my phone, so I cleared some more space. Anyway, um, what I was saying was I think that they look really good because they look true to their colours in the movie. They didn't just choose some random colours. Like, they're very screen accurate. I think they did a really good job with these dolls. Um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to get my hands on these just because they were sold out, um, like, yonks ago and, um... They are really expensive on eBay, but I got them on a deal. And also at the time that I did this order, I was really lucky. It was like 20 or 25% off or something like that um, off all toys at the time. So I was lucky to also grab this when they were doing a deal. I'll just show you the ends of the box while we're here. Really cute, really pretty. Hello, it's Ariel. Yada, yada, yada. It says 30th anniversary, which was like two years ago at this point. So maybe they just found more stock. Maybe they knew that people like me would love to buy it still. I don't know. And I'm also not sure if I'll take that out of the box just because it is such a stunning like lineup like that. So I might just keep it in box. Now, this is the last thing I have to show you guys. This is beautiful and I'm so glad I have this version. This is the Ariel Deluxe gift set and it is the entire Kiss the Girl scene. It looks absolutely stunning. It is huge. Like this is the reason the box was so big because this is huge. You can see my vanity lights reflected in it. But you've got Ariel, Eric, two extra dresses. So she comes in her Kiss the Girl dress but it also comes with a um like mermaid outfit and also her pink dress which I think is underrated. I know in all of her pictures and like merch and stuff these days a lot of the time she's in that new like redesigned green dress from like I don't know 2011, 2012 or something but I really like the pink dress. I think it's really cute and like I know they like probably threw it together in a hurry because they were like stealing other bits from other princesses dresses and like throwing it together but I think it's cute like and I also like that it's a combination of all the other best bits of all the other princesses in my opinion but anyway um yeah so this is how she comes in a boat you've got Flounder and Sebastian and all the guys are in there um and I think it's really beautiful now the packaging on this is really cute as well kind of gives me coconut girl um summer vibes with the way the like turquoise and pink is on the packaging very much up my alley very much a tropical energy I think it's cute um, and it has a handle on the top. Anything on the bottom? No, it just looks like that. I don't know if I'm going to have the heart to unbox this because it's so stunning. Um, I will probably not resell this, but this also is like an arm and a leg on eBay. Um, and that's why I didn't purchase it prior because like it was an arm and a leg on eBay. But then it came in stock on this like site and I was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. They also have like these deluxe gift sets of some other Disney princesses as well. But in my opinion, Ariel's set looks the best. Also, something about this particular Ariel doll is she has the modern face sculpt. So she has the same face sculpt as the 2020 style of like face sculpt and face paint and stuff. Um, she's got an updated version. They had a Kiss the Girl um, set out previously, but her face sculpt wasn't this one. It was like the one where her eyes were slightly different. Not that that face sculpt is bad or anything, like I still think she looks really pretty in that one, but this is like my favourite one, so I was really glad that I waited it out till this version of the release because I prefer this version of Ariel's face paint job and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to like show you guys. Um, she has like articulated hands I can see. I don't know how articulated her arms are going to be. Um, I can see that her ankles aren't articulated. Her shoes look really cute. Um, I don't have any Eric dolls. I think I don't have a single boy doll. So, hi, Eric. Welcome to the family. He's my first dude. Um, I do like that his hair is sculpted because I just think boy hair generally looks better when it comes sculpted like this. As much as I don't like, like, hard hair, I just think it looks better when it's done like that for the guys. Because when they have, like, rooted hair on a guy, a lot of the time, if it's not done right, it gets, like, fluffy and weird looking. So, I do think that this is probably the most clever choice for him. I think they look great together. And I think they're beautiful. I'm trying to like show you guys a view because I think they are a view. Um, but I will do a dedicated video on this, on all the details about it. This is just the overall haul. Um, and we've reached the end of the video. That is all the stuff I have to share with you guys. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's kind of a lot. Um, but I'm happy it's here. And I can't wait to like put it around my room and just like 
look at all my stuff and play with my toys and dress up my aerials. Uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I will be uploading detailed videos on each of the things that I've shown you today. So I'll do a detailed video on the Ariel and her sisters set. I'll do a detailed video on the new updated deluxe edition um, Kiss a Girl set I just showed you. You know, I'll do detailed videos on all of these dolls. Um, I just didn't want to make this video like extremely detailed or like unboxings of like everything, um, taking you through every detail because I do want to take you through those details. But if I did that in this video, it'd get crazy long. Also, um, um, anything else I need to address? My eyeshadow is actually from the ColourPop um, collaboration they did with um, the Disney princesses for the Ultimate Princess Celebration. It is the shade, wait, I can't remember. I'll get it out. It's this one. It's really pretty. It's in the shade Under the Sea and it's the Ariel one from that collection. Of course, as you can tell, I am nuts for Ariel. I'm a big Ariel fan. Um, that's all I have to say today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Love you. Bye. Actually, just a couple of final things that I forgot to add into the video um, that are like links to other videos. So if you want to see my entire aerial collection, I have like three parts of that up on my channel, like one, two, three different videos of literally every aerial thing that I can find that I own. Um, and then I also have um, another video or two up of other Disney hauls that I did last year. So those were the other times that I purchased from Shop Disney, um, the time that I bought this jumper, for example, and some of the things that you can see that are aerial related behind me. So if you want to see those hauls as well um those are already up on my channel as well i'm trying to think if there's anything else aerial related up on my channel that i need to reference also this eyeshadow look that i'm wearing right now i have a very similar tutorial up on my channel already using that same um eyeshadow that's from colourpop that i showed you earlier anyway that's all the things i'll leave you to it peace